Hey, if you're buying a property in 2023, whether it's Dubai or anywhere in the world, you're still most likely going to deal with a realtor, a broker, or an agent. It's kind of very difficult to escape that today, okay? There are a lot of portals available online where you could buy directly, but if you're a serious investor and you wanna get down and dirty and get the good deals out, you're gonna have to work with an agent. That's just the way the industry is structured right now. I wanna share with you three kinds of agents you should avoid while buying real estate, not just Dubai, but anywhere in the world. Look, if you want a sturdy, steady, solid team of expert advisors guiding you with your investment journey in Dubai, hit the link below. We'll see if we are qualified to work with each other and we'd be more than happy to service you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and obviously show us some love in the comment section. Show real first. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back. Listen, now these are the three kinds of agents that you should generally, generally speaking, avoid when you're working to buy a property in Dubai real estate. Now, please let me at the start tell you, I'm not putting down agents. I think all of them work hard. They're out there trying to earn a living. Bless them. I wish them more power. Okay. So I'm not trying to put them down. I'm just trying to highlight for you as an investor who you should be working with to safeguard your interest. Because at the end of the day, I always say this, the client's interest or the investor's interest or the seller or the buyer's interest comes where? Comes where, Gino? First, okay, Gino's on his laptop, okay. Comes first, okay, your interest comes first. So that's the most important, important thing. Now, if you're coming to the Dubai market, this is something that you should be avoiding as qualities in different agents. The number one thing that you should make sure when you come to the Dubai market and you're looking to work with a realtor, realtor or a real estate agent is to avoid freelancers. Okay. What's a freelancer? Okay. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a freelancer, right? We have, um, Global platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, uh, what else? Upwork, Fiverr, freelancer.com, where people from across the globe sitting in their home have certain capabilities or strengths where they can service you and give you a certain uh, product delivery. I don't know, if you want to edit a video, write some copy, uh, I don't know, get some advice. Uh, I don't think you should get advice from freelancers, but you know, it's out there. The industry is out there. Research, project, Research a project, okay? Here's the thing. When you're investing your hard-earned money, not hard-earned, but your earned money into real estate in Dubai or anywhere, the government of Dubai has taken it upon themselves to responsibly ensure that you get proper advice, which means that there is a regulatory body called RERA. Real Estate Regulatory Agency, okay? It doesn't stand for authority. It is the Real Estate Regulatory Agency in Dubai that monitors, regulates, creates policies for all real estate related activities in Dubai. One of the requirements is that all agents need to be certified. Now, we're about a 20, 24 year old industry in Dubai. In the beginning, and I was one of the earlier batches that actually got certified by RERA back in 2008. But in the early, early days, anybody, their mom, their grandmother, grandfather, uncle, auntie, and even their kids could be a real estate agent in Dubai. Kind of like what you might find in some of the countries across the world where the regulatory framework is not very strong. In Dubai though, however, it is illegal for anybody to sell real estate or be involved in selling something to do with real estate if they are not certified and they're not qualified. Now, qualifying, we can debate till the cows come home. Does the certification make you qualified? But you know, at least the certification makes you that you're serious. You've got a good conduct certificate. You are certified by the regulatory body to be able to advise others on buying real estate. So if you're coming into the market and your uncle says, yeah, I can help you but he's not a certified qualified real estate agent, 
run from him or if he says my friend can help you but his friend's not a certified qualified real estate agent in dubai run the mile or if any agent approaches you and they're not certified qualified run away from them okay this is a very basic thing and i would hope that you would have the decent uh, the regular common sense to know about this okay number two when you the, before you start working with a real estate agent and start sharing confidential details and start taking their advice interview three to five realtors and there's one litmus test that i would actually always advise you to in in, in uh, include when you're selecting a realtor and that is what how long have you been in the real estate industry i like to work with people from the five to seven or even ten years of experience that's not to say that less than five are bad it's just that one to three years uh they don't have the necessary experience five to seven is ideal i would even say maybe three to five years is okay okay yeah it does, you don't you're not going to find everybody who's got five plus years of experience but the other question that i would rather also ask is why did you join why do you do real estate if they say they want to make more money what do you do? Do you run away? No, it's okay. You are working and looking for better jobs and to grow your business to make more money. So that's perfectly fine. But what I'm trying to get at is you're trying to go a little bit beyond the money. You're trying to see if they have, and you are judging here, if they have a service mindset. If they truly believe that they are supposed to be servicing you to get the right exact good investments in the in, in the in the real estate market and something very very critical what do i mean by this to actually ascertain that they're not just after the money even though money there's nothing wrong with that okay i'm going to give you an example if there's two two bedrooms that you're looking to buy that real estate agent should be able to evaluate both with no bias and give you the best advice even if on one of them he makes a certain amount of money and on the other he makes more money in commissions you will never be able to know exactly how much he's making on which deal just like when you walk into a car showroom generally speaking you don't know how much profit they make right but a car salesman might push one car onto you and tell you that it's better for you to buy that just because he's making one commission right but you gotta avoid that right just because he's making more commission doesn't make it a better thing for you maybe it is better for you he should be able to give you good unbiased advice and then let you decide if you decide that's fine right okay thirdly last but not the least guys listen you're looking for people who are competent okay how do you measure competency okay look very very simple you need a real estate agent in dubai who has a certain degree of competency because he's going to then do proper paperwork lawyers don't handle the paperwork in dubai it's generally your agent or a support team like i have with my company with all the agents that i do business with that we employ has a support team that makes sure that the paperwork is done proper and it's very important competency also means that they are not careless okay they're not careless how do you judge this right very simple if they tell you they're gonna call you tomorrow they call you right if they do if they say we're gonna send you the details they send you the details which means they're organized at on the ball so these are three things that you would be looking for in a real estate agent which means what avoid the freelancers make sure they're certified qualified litmus test them are they only in it for the money or do they have a service oriented mindset and last but not the least you're looking for a certain degree of competency which is separate from experience because somebody could have 10 years of experience but is not competent which means say it makes they make the same mistake with paperwork and are careless around uh, doing things the right way so you need a certain amount of competency to make sure that you have an enjoyable journey i'm not even look i'm not even worried about you having to make money because dubai real estate is good solid ground you invest in value you'll end up making money but at least you should have an enjoyable stress-free journey with your investment in dubai all right guys look if you're looking to make an investment in dubai there is a link below hit it click it let's talk we can actually help you we've got a fully trained professional team of advisors 
don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. And look, put some comments in the comment section. I'd be happy to reply. My team takes them on and then we actually reply to your comments as well. Uh, if they're video worthy, we'll happily do that. All right. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fahd Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006. And since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.